Do you create YouTube videos? And do you want those videos to rank better? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best keyword tools for YouTube SEO that will give you and your YouTube videos a great chance to be found online. Hey everybody, I'm Richard Cruz. I'm the founder of WSI Priority Media. The purpose of this video and every video that I do is to help your business thrive. I often see really awesome videos that could do so much better in YouTube, but when I look at the metadata with my YouTube keyword tools, I can see exactly why they become duds. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid those mistakes. I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step process that I use when I'm doing my keyword research for a video. I have two tools that I use together, and the reason is that the data that I need to make sure that I get it right is a combination that I pull from the two different tools. I haven't found that one tool gives me everything that I need, and so my process, we've developed it to where we have really good, solid uh, data. And if you follow this, I think you're going to be pleased with the results that you get with your video ranking as well. Now, there's a lot of work that's going into creating videos, and your tools, they are so, so crucial. You need them to be right on. You need them to give you accurate data. And so this cross-referencing that I do with my two favorite tools, the first one is TubeBuddy, and then the second one is Morning Fame. I'm able to get a lot more precision keyword research, and I'm able to plan a much better YouTube SEO strategy. So why don't we just jump right into it, and I'm gonna show you my processes that I use. And I'm just using a YouTube SEO since that's what we're talking about today, and that's my keyword that I'm putting in. What I do is I download TubeBuddy, and TubeBuddy can be found at TubeBuddy.com. A very inexpensive tool. It is so affordable, it's ridiculous. And I don't remember the prices exactly, but uh, I think you'll be very pleased. What I do is I install the Chrome plugin, and the Chrome plugin will automatically load anytime I open any video. And so what's awesome is I put this in, and it's already showing me for that keyword all the statistics that I need to know. The first thing I looked at is the search volume and then the competition. There's a lot of competition for this. And they give me a ranking gauge right here that's already built in that tells me what my chances are of succeeding with that, that um, you know, particular keyword. And it's going to be very, very difficult. There's just a lot of competition, a lot of data out there. So what's really great about it is that I can look down here and look at related keywords and this thing does an amazing job of scouring the YouTube platform for related keywords. And what I like to do is I'll double click here and then I will go to open up a new tab and I'll just do a tab, a tab, a tab, a tab. Like right now, I have probably about 20 different tabs lined up. I look for the ones that are relative and then I'll move down into the most used keyword tags. For example, if we're looking for YouTube SEO, right? Video SEO, another really good one. And I'm just going to open that one as an example and just show you. And that comes up as, should be, it's a short tail keyword, but it should, I mean, this one's even worse, right? So one that I probably want to stay away from if I want that to be found. But as I go through moving down the pike, it, it gave me uh, this one right here, which is keywords on YouTube and this one right here, which is a 12, but I'm going to go down a little bit more and it gave me some that are a lot more right in the realm. It just get more views with YouTube keyword research. Bam, 72. Decent search volume, but low competition. So TubeBuddy feels that I can rank in that one there. So that's one that I'm very interested in. Now here it's given me an 80. Decent volume right here. Low competition. Very, very good chances. This one right here, not bad. It's 71. Keyword, YouTube keywords 2020. And here's a 71. Uh, but... There's not a whole lot of lot of uh, volume going on there. There's not a lot of competition, which is keyword suggestion tool YouTube. So I will look at a variety of them that I've already pulled up, and I'll go through and just look at the aggregate, look at my audience, what I'm really looking to create, and find that realm. Like here, I have them ranked you know, all the way from, I think it was started at uh, 70 or 71, all the way up to, I think 80 was the best one. And then I'll find that one that fits me best. When I do that, then I've got my keyword. 
and that's exciting. Then what I like to do next is I double check it. I will take my top two or three that I come down to because it's not always evident one. Sometimes there's two or three that are really, really close. As you can see here, there was some, I mean, they're between 71 and 80. They're all pretty close. And there's some times where I've got maybe three different 78s. And I want to tell them apart. So what I will do is I will go a step further and I'll come into Morning Fame. And you can find them at uh, morningfa.me. It's not a .com suffix and this is an amazing channel and what i'll do is i will go into the topic the keyword research i'll put that in and then i'll i'll hit this here and then it will come in and it will give me scores the closer you can get to a scores a what i love about what they do at morning fame is they rank your youtube channel now this channel is relatively new it's been around for a while but we've loaded just very few videos over the years 33 days ago I made a commitment to do a 100 day challenge. I'm going to load 100 videos in 100 days every single day and I'm going to keyword index them and I'm going to do a video at the end showing the before and after and how I was able to take my YouTube channel. And so I'm really excited about this. I'm not just teaching it to you to show you something. I'm doing this every single day. And so I hope that my experience that I what I've learned here is something that can help you. And I challenge you to do your own 100 day challenge and create a video every single day of good quality content that you can give away but when you do make sure that you do your keyword research so that you can get your video ready correctly so in this particular case it shows you some of the key elements like your competition compared to you so it's a d it's not an f so it's pretty good the higher i can get your relevancy score and that's how i do my keyword research and it's so simple it really works it takes me 10 minutes to find a good set of keywords i hope that this has been helpful for you and if you have any questions Leave me a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe to be alerted of future training videos. And I look forward to seeing you again on the next one.